It's exactly 80 years since compulsory driving tests were introduced in Britain. And BBC Midlands Today has learned that where you take your tests in the region could affect your chances of passing. Whitchurch in Shropshire has the highest pass rate in the region, with some test centres in Birmingham having the lowest. David Lum reports. Passing your driving test is difficult. At the last check in 2013-14, about 70,000 people in the region passed, but 90,000 failed. So less than half of candidates pass. It's a shame there's nothing you can do to boost your chances of success. Or is there? Official figures show where you take your test could actually affect your chances of passing. The easiest places in the West Midlands to pass were Nuneaton, Cannock, Lichfield and here in the Shropshire market town of Whitchurch. 56% of those who took their test here passed, making it the easiest place in the West Midlands and 9 percentage points better than the national average. Hi Dave. Hi Mike, Thank thanks you. for meeting me. Alright, no problem, thanks very much. But why? Mike Harding has almost 15 years experience as an instructor and teaches people from all over Whitchurch. In the town itself we've only got one major set of traffic lights. Um, we've also got one uh, short section of dual carriageway which is linked to the bypass. And have you ever had any of your pupils specifically request to take the test here? I've got a guy at the moment who's coming from Chester. who's having a driving lesson to take his driving test in a couple of weeks time. And the hardest? Well, with a pass rate of about one in three, it's King Standing in Birmingham, Wensbury and Birmingham South Yardley. And do you think your students could pass in Birmingham? I think it would take them a, a, a bit more time to get used to the, the multi-lane roundabouts and, and, and the road layouts around Birmingham, definitely. On the other hand, drivers like my BBC colleague Lara, who failed first time, say the system is flawed. Well, I was quite shocked, really, but I understand that, like, in built-up areas, like where I live, it's going to be a lot harder. I have to come across roundabouts all the time. Um, you know, the fact that it's harder to pass your test in somewhere like South Yardley, well, that's just putting everyone at a disadvantage who lives in South Yardley. In fact, with only a 32% pass rate, South Yardley was the second hardest test centre to pass at in the country. The Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency say tests are consistent and closely monitored but the different layouts between rural and city driving tests is something that concerns the Royal Society for the prevention of accidents. Well, partly it depends on where they do most of their driving after the test. So if you take a test and do your learning in a rural area, but then start, start driving in an urban area, you're going to be less prepared for urban conditions. It's 80 years since the introduction of the compulsory driving test, but, as the old saying goes, it's not until you pass that you actually learn to drive. David Lum, BBC Midlands Today. Birmingham. Oh, the memories. <laughs> well, it's time for the sport.